Hey guys, so I'm out um, recording. I was forget I throw a quick video up on. Uh, I was thinking there's probably like a lot of players who didn't prepare materials for bartering. Um, and, you know, are wondering like you know what they can do now that was you know only a few days away, I guess. Um, so you know the, the good thing is all hope's not lost. So I'll throw you know a giant sheet up of all the land materials uh, that you get for bartering. Um, there's quite a many, maybe like 50, 60, 70 plus, but um, there's you know, a much smaller list that you know, I think new players could tackle, and you can still gather them pretty quick. You know, if you, you know, some of them you can craft or process or cook or, you know, throw nodes on them. Um, so I'll show you, I've been selling stuff to Ilya. Eventually, you know, if you pick them up, you can have them here, or if you have a maid, you can do them in, um, you know, uh, Velia, or, you know, if you're near Fury, you can probably like get, get to shore and throw them in Calpheon and take them out of the maid there. But I, I kind of keep everything here organized. Um, eventually, I'll get rid of this fish. But um, so just kind of cruise through what you can kind of tackle here is the muddy water bags you can dig in the desert, um, or there's nodes that get them as well. Um, so you know, for those of you who you know who didn't play PC back in 2016 when, when we had the the, the digging glitches. Uh, so if you go to Sandgrain and you go to the, um, the material vendor up here, you can buy shovels and you just go out, you know, to the desert where you can't see the map, buy like a thousand shovels and you just click and then just let it run for like an hour and you'll get like a thousand plus muddy water bags um, on like three to four net energy. Um, it also gives you decent gathering XP if you take all the buffs and stuff out there. So if you want to AFK level gathering, you get, I get like 6% of ma like master 15 on like four net energy. Um, so that's muddy water bags. Uh, Silver Azalea, there's nodes that get this. Um, so we got, I don't have it because um, I'm trying to save some CP, but I think this node is one of them. Um, but if you look, feel like I can't gather stuff from nodes, luckily this material vendor who's, I don't think, on the map, but it's like hanging out like right here um, next to the storage. Uh, I'll show you. I can probably can switch over there real quick. My cook should be standing right there. So the silver azalea, you you can just buy off the market. So that was going to kind of go through. This is going to be more of like a absolute, you know, like beginner's guide. I had to scramble and kind of get some of these together. Um, anyone who's you know, been waiting for bartering for a long time. It's probably stockpiled quite a bit of these and quite a bit of the more expensive ones. So with bartering is, you know, the whole purpose is to eventually make money and upgrade your ships. So on the money part, you don't want to take expensive materials. Like you'll see some on the giant list and, you know, exchange them because you'll, you won't make any money by using expensive mats. So here you can buy your silver azalea. So if you're scrambling and you're a new player, I would just flat out just buy like, you know, 10, 20,000 of these and send them over. Um, you know, and then put your worker on the other one so you can get some materials. Uh, or you can just, you know, your level of gathering down a bear, um, you can, you know, you'll get tons of silver azalea to, if you're gathering as well. Um, so, so the next one in the bank, we'll touch, I'm not going to go through it, all these are some of the ones, so grilled bird meat no, needs no explanation, um, you, you get the chicken nodes, um, Beer, same thing, cook. Vinegar, you can cook. Essence of liquor, ground the flowers. So all of these, um, in case there's an absolute new player watching this, you can get them from, you know, the Velia. You got your your your, your chicken and potatoes. You grind them into flour. Um, you know, you've got your, down, in, down here, you've got the vendor who sells, you know, vegetables and fruit. Um, so, so that's kind of on the cooking items. Those, are, if you're, you know, you've got nothing prepared, at the very least, I would, you know, kind of go through some of these items. You can easily prepare all these cooking ones in masses. Um, the fish, I, I just was leveling some workers. Uh, I think ground bird meat's a bartering item as well. It's not that you'll see on my list. The aloe, I bought tons of aloe because I knew um, it was on the market for like 300 silver. Like I bought this before Dubin Green hit PS4. Uh, so I've had, and I probably have another 100,000 laying around. So that, I bought that out because I knew it would, you know, be a bartering item. Um, Star and Isis, this is all worker-driven. This this stuff comes, and these are this is probably one of the better nodes in the game uh, up here in the Shaka 2 farmland. So these figs and Star and I only put a worker on this like two, three weeks ago, and 
you know, I've got, you know, like you get tons and tons of fig um, once you get artists and workers on this. So, so the Star Anise is from up there. You might be able to buy some off the market still. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, pistachios. Let's be another Valencia node. You'll be looking at this farm. Uh, I think my storage might be full, I'm guessing. No. Or maybe I just gotta tell workers to keep going out. Um, but it's th this one up there. Oh, I gotta feed them, that's why. Um, so let's see the pistachio. list uh, wheat so wheat you got a few wheat nodes um, you can either grow them yourself you got wheat here wheat there and then you got wheat in, in here as well um, so when you go through there's some wheat there uh, flax is also going to be in the, one of the other ones on my list it's flax from these two places as well so so that's those are going to cover hideout is going to cover you know some of your bartering mats as well um, feather wolf hides if you hunt uh, the knitting yarn and fleece that's going to come from idle as well. So this mat one up here. This is going to give you uh, the rare proc, and that's going to get you your um, the, knit, the knitting yarn. So we go into here. Also make cooking stations in this place. Um, so you'll see you got, you got you know the flax kind of piling in, as well as the fleece and knitting yarn. So the, the wild grass, if you level gathering, you'll get some of this. Um, red tree lumps and monk branches. Um, there's some nodes that give these. So I forget which ones exactly. You're going to be looking at like one of the ones, one of the media ones up here. Um, but generally, I think it's if you have the Calthy on timber ones, it's going to be. Um, so I don't have rich. I have a lot of workers going random places. So it's going to be probably some of the Calthy and Timber nodes. If you go to something that level, you can look up which ones actually give you uh, the Red Tree Lump. But I think the Red Tree Lump, you can probably buy on the market. Um, maybe not anymore. <laughs> Everything's gone. Um, these are way too... So like this, would, these would be something that's too expensive now that you wouldn't want to buy. So see this price spike um, where, you know, like it shot up? So you probably don't want to be buying these for bartering anymore. Um, maybe, maybe not, but it's it's going to be questionable. Um, the bloody, t yeah. If some of the Calthy I know is definitely have them. It's hard to tell which ones at the moment. Um, you got the fur, but if you pick up all those nodes, you'll definitely get it. Or you can look, type in um, on something lovely. You'll see exactly which ones give you the the tree lumps. It's a byproduct of the timber. I just forget which which ones at the moment. I'm going to screw some through these. Uh, the monk, I believe, this one, this maple, I'm pretty sure it gives you monk. Uh, we should see some in here, unless I move, unless I sent them away. Yeah. So this, the, so the maple is going to give you, give you monk, monk uh, stuff in here, and maybe the spirit leaf, maybe not. I can't remember. Um, the spirit leaf is also going to be a byproduct of some of these tree things. The powder crevice and all these powders, you're going to get these from, from the metal nodes. Um, so when you have the, the copper and iron stuff, you're going to get these coming in from these nodes over here. Um, there's also You're also going to get some if you got the lead as another barter and item. And then the iron node is going to give you some more of the, the powder stuff um, from both of those. So I think I sent the lead out of here. But you also get iron. Um, Yeah, so there's definitely more mats you can come up with, but these are ones that are like more beginner friendly, and they're also going to be cheap in the long term. Uh, these crystals, the tin and some other nodes are on there. The knock ore is a good one. Um, if you got workers near Grana, there's there might be another node for this, but um, I'm just grabbing this one right here. So that's a knock ore. I think I actually have a worker going from here because all my Grana ones are doing crates. Um, so you can see, you know, the ore is coming in here. Uh, the lead, there's also another lead node, other than the one down at uh, Glish. So the right here is going to give you lead. Uh, 
and then the uh, rough stone you're gonna actually, you're just gonna you know go to pilgrim or something that needs no explanation so go to pilgrim's mine you get rough stone um i just threw it out there because it's easy to get might be it maybe might not be cost effective and then coal um you got a coal node i took it down because i need the cp but you got a coal node there uh, the one everyone should get, which is CP efficient, is right next to Keplon. So you just leave a guy here, and he'll bring in, you know, tons of coal. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of the core. Um, so what I have going on here is you can eventually throw a house in here. I just got a CP from cooking last night, um, and you put a bed in there, and then so what you can in a you know a container once I free ten more CP up, and then you can get items from here. And it's connected to there so it'll save you so like if you barter and you hit these islands up you can just go to here to pick stuff up and drop stuff off and if you're doing these islands you can go to there and pick stuff and drop stuff off um, and then you know you can use Etheria as another base um, or also sail up to there up to you but that's kind of how you can organize some things um, but yeah so this is just going to be a 10 minute thing on uh, nutmeg which i'm slowly gathering that's also valencia i skipped over that one um, I believe it's one of these I got the workers on. Uh, that's pistachio, that's pistachio. I think that leg might be over here. I don't think I have it anymore because of the CP, but it might be right here. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a nutmeg. Um, so, I won't, you know, again, when I get more of a CP, I'll probably grab that and you know, the Tef for the Lonzi meals, but... Oh, uh, CP to out of I think I touched upon all the ones that I would... I'll throw a quick sheet up on there. I touched all of them. Um, some of these are easier to stock up on others. Like you can just go ham on grass and gather it. Um, and lead, you know, workers get pretty quick. The ground bird meat. Um, and this whole this whole top section here, like you should just always have tons of these in stock as well. Um, but yeah, most of these, the workers will get for you pretty quick. You'll be surprised. Um, so if, especially the, like the knock or the coal. So a lot. These are the items I would focus on if you're a new player. Just to kind of ham, through, go ham, um, you know, and stockpile these, so that way, you know, you can take your land goods and turn them into tier one mats. And then, if you know, you just look at the overall list of bartering, those items are probably going to be more expensive um, or harder to get. There's also stuff like cloud mushrooms, I think, uh, on here. I just don't have the node, um, so there might be a handful of other items um, like oh, copper. Do I have, did I mail copper bars over here yet? No, I made a ton. So, so I think I still need to move a few items over. Um, so I made some cop. I made so we got, we got copper bars. Um, there's a bunch of nodes around Belia to get copper. Let's cruise through the list real quick. Um, grilled bird meat, knitting yarn, sunrise herbs are decent. That'll, you need a pile of them. That's another worker node. Uh, so the oh the on the coal. You, you got to process them down. I just sent them up there. I'll have an alt process them when we're going to overnight or, you know, somewhere. So you got you to make process coal, not regular coal. Uh, the purified water, that's from the muddy water bags as well. You just filter them or... And then, um, oh, the silkworm cocoons I didn't send up there yet either. So silkworm cocoons is going to be from this node. Uh, I just want to have it gathered so you can get silk here. So let me send those up while I'm thinking about it. I should have silk down here somewhere. Um, you see I'm also gathering some order here as well. So when my cook's got energy, I'll do that. Uh, so I should got some silk, some more pistachios I'll send up there. Where is the silk? There it is. So I'll send some silk over. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, a wool, you, you can get actual wool too, and so if you process, I believe, um, you know, the yarn coming out of here into wool. So it's some of the items are kind of process friendly. Um, yeah, I think that covers it. The only other thing maybe cloud mushrooms, and that I don't have the node, and I forget where it is off the top of my head. I think that's tiger. Um, yeah, so you look up where cloud mushrooms is, but that, that that's a cheap one as well. Uh, and that one might not even sold out yet. Let me see. Because uh, it's one of the more common nodes, I think. Yeah, so you could probably buy these. It's definitely, you can see it spiked um, heavily. Um, but it's still not super expensive at, you know, 800 silver. So you, you could buy these off the market. There might be a, uh, I don't think I have 
there's a mushroom vendor in Caltheon who might sell these or might not. I have, I'll have to go check them out later. Uh, show the map as the first one. There's a mushroom dude in here. Like hide now right next to storage. Um, who sells mushrooms. He might or may not have them. I'll leave a comment if he does uh, once I send out a, a guy over there. Um, but that's, yeah, so this is just some of the match you can kind of quickly get workers on. Um, oh, the center is blood too, if you can make it, but that's alchemy and I don't do a ton of that. Um, I think you need the bloody tree knots for those, which are now rather expensive. Um, yeah, so you could buy these if you really need, you know, people will sell these again. Um, so you always buy them off the market and not bother making them. Um, yeah, so that's going to cover some of the basic basic stuff. Just for new players to get started on bartering mats and kind of where they, where they are and how to get them. Hopefully it wasn't too much of a ramble. Um, but take it easy, guys. Good luck bartering. Um, you know, maybe I'll do like, a, you know, another update on these, you know, a few weeks down the road and kind of show you, how, you know, like some of the progress that I made. Um, but that's basically it. I'll try to keep it brief. 15 minutes. Stop recording.